positive reinforcement training. What is it and how can we make sure that we're successful at it? In this video, I'll be quickly covering what positive reinforcement is and three keys to success so you can have the best behaved pup in town. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I put out a new video every Wednesday. And by the way, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. In case you're wondering, this is my good friend, Stella. I'm dog sitting for her right now, but look at the camera, Stella. Look how cute she is. She kind of acts like a bowling ball. It just likes to stand there and not move. <laughs> All right, so like I said in this video, I'm going to be covering what positive reinforcement is as well as those keys to success. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let me briefly talk about what positive reinforcement is just so you have that foundation. I love this definition from the AKC website. Positive reinforcement dog training, also referred to as force-free, reward-based, or clicker training, is a method that focuses on I'm telling your dog when he is correct instead of only pointing out what is incorrect. This is done through a marker for correctness and timing paired with a reward that is reinforcing to the dog. The marker can be a clicker, a simple device that when pressed makes a distinct, consistent sound or a short word such as yes, good, or smart. For me personally, positive reinforcement really, really resonated with me just because it's more fun and it, or it turns training into a game and it's just fun for both the human and the dog versus using any type of punishment based training. All right, so here are the three keys to success. Number one is timing. Timing is oh so important when it comes to training. When you tell your dog to sit, by the time you get out your treats, they could have looked left, they could have looked right, they could have looked up or down, and they might not know they're getting the treat for sitting. That's why in positive reinforcement training, we use the marker word or the clicker to mark the precise moment they do the behavior we want them to do. So the second their butt touches the ground for a sit, we mark that with a yes, good, or clicker. Number two is consistency. So this actually can be the most challenging for us humans. Why is that? Because us humans have a hard time building new habits. Why do you think we all ditch our New Year's resolutions? And that's because staying consistent can be really, really challenging. But one thing to know about positive reinforcement training is if you stay consistent, you will see the results. So stay consistent, my friends. Number three is patience. Oh, patience. <sighs> Us humans also lack patience, or maybe we have it, but we need to just practice it more. Here's the thing, with positive reinforcement training, we are teaching our dog a new behavior. We're not stopping it just for the moment. So my favorite example is a spray bottle with a dog that's barking. So a lot of humans will use this because it's instant gratification. When your dog barks, you spray them and then they stop. But there is something to consider. Number one, it's not really the most humane thing to spray a dog with a water bottle. Would you spray your human child with a water bottle? I don't think so. But number two, it doesn't really teach them anything. It just stops them in the moment. I guarantee you the second they see that dog again, they are going to start barking. And what are you gonna do if you don't have your spray bottle? Also, even if you do have your spray bottle, do you really wanna rely on that? Probably not. So the key is to use positive reinforcement training to teach your dog what you want them to do instead, instead of stopping what they're currently doing. In other words, through positive reinforcement training, you can train your dog to either go to their bed or turn around and look at you as soon as they see another dog out the window. This is a much better alternative because you'll see lasting results. The only thing it does take is some patience. Dig deep, find that patience, find that consistency, and I promise you'll see results. By the way, if you wanna learn more about how to specifically use positive reinforcement training to help with any behavior, so not just the barking out the window at another dog, but even if it's lunging, even if it's um, just teaching them how to sit, lay down, walk calmly on a leash, download my ultimate good dog blueprint. I go over, go over all of that 
in that blueprint and it's free right now. I promise it won't disappoint. All right, so that's it for today, everyone. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to share with all of your puppy loving friends and make sure to join my Puppy Parents Facebook group. It's where puppy parents just like you can get together and I'm always there answering questions from all of you training, nutrition, all of that good stuff. By the way, do you use positive reinforcement training at home for your dog? Prior to this video, had you even heard of positive reinforcement dog training? I'd love to hear it. Leave me a comment below and we can start a conversation about it. All right, and that's it guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.